jerkins. Interesting. get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Your bread, your coin. This one is not for. from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would to come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals of blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. 
knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a... doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me.